What is going on everybody, Rajay back again. Time to take a look at another beer and today I'm taking a look at another one from Hop Butcher for the World. This is the I Want to Believe double IPA. This one also comes in at 7.5% ABV which gets it right to that double IPA level. It is hopped with Citra, El Dorado and Belma and has a date on here which is always nice and all their cans have been dated this one is actually just 20 days old today at the time of this video on the back side as i showed on some of the other cans you do have the tasting notes as well that you can see there on the screen pretty much uh, sweet citrus candied berry and then juicy melon so that's what's noted about this one here these hot butcher beers have been pretty terrific so again thanks jeremiah for uh getting them out to me and looking forward to seeing what this one has to offer gonna crack this baby open and get it into a glass and i tell you what these beers from these guys have actually brought back a little bit more of my uh taste buds towards uh the double ipa and ipa area they're a nice little brewery up there outside chicago so if you're up in that part of Illinois, would definitely recommend checking them out, at least from everything I've had thus far. So there we go into the IPA glass. You got a juicy looking one here. Nice orange color. Head sits about three finger on the head. Some foaminess to it, so it should lace the glass nicely going down. But look wise, it pretty much looks kind of like a lighter type orange juice or something along those lines. Aroma wise, you get a nice amount of fruitiness coming off the nose. You get a little bit underneath of that, some dank type quality. A little bit of that resiny type feel in the back end of the note. But yeah, I'm getting out of it kind of like some tropical notes, pineapple, citrus. Also getting like something like a uh, mango type feel. But a nice fruity note there for sure. Smells really, really good taste wise. Nice juicy quality to the beer. Wow, it really just hits the mouth nicely. Getting all the flavors all around. You're picking up in the mouth that uh, tropical sensation again from the hops that were used. You do get somewhat of a nice melon feel to the beer. Really dampens the cheeks nicely. Getting scratchiness in the throat there from the hops. Again, this is 20 days old, so it's a nice freshness there from the beer itself. So you do get a little bit of that scraping in the throat on the swallow. Nice sting on the tongue. Man, it really latches in nicely in the mouth. In the body, the texture, you have a little bit of a creamy type feel. The kind of that velvety type sensation as well. But I'm loving the flavor being pulled out of the beer itself. Duration of the flavor is nice on this one as well. Overall though, pretty decent. Now with this one on the double IPA, it still has that nice hop forwardness to it. A lot of times, what I've come across a lot of double IPAs, and most of the time they're higher than 7.5, is usually I get a little bit more of a maltier type feel into them. This one is still keeping a nice hop forwardness to it, so be interesting to know the IBU level. They don't list it on here, but I would probably put this one up around the uh, somewhere probably around the 70 level but you have that up front but then it does balance against the malts in a pretty good fashion and in the end you're left with a nice crisp beer um, after that swallow and that scratches goes away it clears up rather quickly and you're just left with a little bit of that juiciness still there in the cheek area so a nice one put together from them and you could actually drink on these pretty much any time of the year I mean it's just really smooth for the uh, double IPA style. So I'm actually digging this one. I mean, I've dug them all, but this one I'm really digging. A little bit of kind of a pineapple type feel in there too. So a nice one from a uh, hot butcher. I want to believe, and I believe, I believe I do like this one here. So if you've had this one, let me know what you think of it. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you've had any of the hot butcher beers, make sure you, uh, let me know as well. I want to see what your guys' feedback are that may have had went through some of these and what your thoughts are on them. And if it's not one of the ones here that I've done, maybe it's one of the ones you've had I haven't that I should look out for as well. But a nice brewery thus far out of Illinois. And I'm looking forward to trying more of their beers. So make sure you guys come back and check out some more of the videos. 
and I'll look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.